we uh, we're doing a little fishing trip today. I just made it out to Cottonwood Lake number one. Sorry, the sun glare is awful. I didn't expect to see anyone. There's actually a person here, which is crazy. Whew, that was a drive. It uh, ended up being dirt roads the last like 10 miles or gravel dirt roads. I was ex wasn't expecting that, so it took us about 45 minutes to go eight miles. Uh, but we're here. I'll show you the view. It's man, it's amazing. We're literally in we're in the middle of nowhere. And there's just this lake, and we're gonna hopefully uh, catch some trout today. We got our first fish here. I was getting worried I wasn't gonna catch anything today, but look at this beauty, little rainbow. We uh, just got our second rainbow here. Pretty little guy, look at this thing. Oh my gosh. This is fun just to, to come out here and just catch fish in a, in a lake I've never fished. Uh, in literally the middle of nowhere. There's one other guy here. This is fun, this is awesome. So I haven't uh, haven't been filming everything, but we've caught quite a few fish. Uh, I just kind of want to enjoy it. I'm getting a little cold, so I'm gonna warm up my hands. This water is freezing. It's probably I don't know, maybe 35 degrees out here, maybe not. But uh, whew, the fishing's good. It just seems like every third cast you get a fish and. It's super fun. So this is awesome. Uh, as you can see, not a bad view. A few other people have showed up, but uh, but really not that many. I'm basically the only person I can see right on the water. So, I mean, pretty hard to beat this. All right, that was a good morning. Uh, I came back to the car, I'm gonna warm up a little bit. My hands are freezing, uh, just touching the water. It's it's pretty windy in parts over here. So I was a little concerned, like coming out here, just never fishing it, didn't have a lot of information on the lake other than what patterns to use and found a couple really good spots. I mean, just caught fish all morning. I don't know, I don't know how many I caught, doesn't matter, probably 10, 12, a couple nice rainbows. We're gonna eat some lunch, we're gonna warm up, 
and then we're gonna get back out there. I'm hoping I can come again later this week and fish some more. Not sure if that's gonna happen or not, but the fishing's so good. I'm like, I gotta get back out here. It's pretty crazy when your walk to the fishing spot is pretty amazing. I mean, look at this scenery. <laughs> pretty dope. I'm going back to my spot I was at earlier and I'm gonna keep fishing that shoreline. I um, was gonna go. <laughs> About died right there on a rock. Oh my. Uh, I was gonna try another spot at the end of the lake and I was like halfway there and it got really hard to get to and there's some already some guys over there. I was like, eh, we'll just go back to the spot I was at and see if we can get some more stuff and work our way down a little further. And then um, I might call it a day. It was freezing earlier, now it's sunny and it's I'm sweating in these waders walking around. So it definitely, the temperature definitely uh, rose pretty good. Once, um, yeah, once it got a little later in the day, it's, it's pretty nice out here. It's not cold anymore. It was cold this morning. I was like, Driving up, it was like 25 degrees. I was like, oh gosh, this might be uh, might be freezing. But we uh, we got figured out, and we're uh, hopefully gonna catch some more fish. call it a day fishing got really really slow and i broke off a couple times throwing some streamers and it's kind of tired woke up at six o'clock which is super early for me so had a great great morning of fishing uh yeah can't complain it's beautiful out here i was afraid we weren't gonna catch anything i thought we were gonna get skunked so the fact that we caught 12 or so fish maybe more is is awesome super psyched on that and uh just blessed to have this opportunity to come out here and just fish and man just take in the scenery no cell service middle of nowhere great day uh now i gotta go drive the gravel roads back not looking forward to that as usual thank you guys for tuning in hope you enjoy this little uh short video of uh us catching some fish on the uh the grand mesa we are at a uh, cottonwood lake number one but uh yeah on the mesa largest flat top mountain in the u.s i think which is pretty cool and uh didn't get to see the scenery on the way up so we're going to be able to see it on the way down which is awesome and uh, i'm going to go back about a two hour drive and relax and uh we'll catch you guys on the next one peace